As the sky starts to get dark, the excited kids set up a telescope in their backyard. Their grandpa watches with a warm smile as the sky slowly turns dark. The kids work together, getting more and more excited as they get ready to look at the stars. In the bright morning sun, Lily looks up at Grandpa, her eyes sparkling with excitement. Grandpa, are we going to see the solar eclipse? Lily asks. Grandpa smiles. Yes, Lily, it's a special day. The moon will try to play hide and seek with the sun. Tom, nearby, looks confused. Why hide and seek? As the sun goes down and shadows stretch across the yard, Grandpa sits beside Mia and her brother and Saeed. Imagine the sun is a big, bright ball like a giant lamp, and the moon is like a little marble. Sometimes the marble moves right in front of the lamp, thus causing an eclipse. Mia, her eyes wide with curiosity, asks, does it turn off the light? Not completely, Mia. It just dims the light a little. It's like when you cover your eyes with your hands, it gets darker, but you can still see a little bit. Lily looks at Grandpa with a puzzled face, trying to understand the sky's big secret. But why does the moon go in front of the sun? She asks, her eyes wide with curiosity. The moon is always moving around the earth, and sometimes it lines up just right to block the sun's light. Tom stands in the backyard, his eyes fixed on the sky, a question hanging in the air. Grandpa frowns a little and says, Yes, Tom, looking at the sun is like staring at a super bright light. It can hurt your eyes. That's why we wear special glasses. Grandpa hands Tom the glasses to keep his eyes safe. Everyone puts on their special glasses and looks up at the sky as the moon starts to hide the sun. Mia shouts, Look, it's like a cookie with a big bite missing. When the eclipse is at its very best, the backyard gets dark and spooky like twilight. The kids watch in amazement. Isn't it amazing? Kids, a reminder of how big and wonderful the universe is.